three, I think it is, of the Evertoon Bridge install here on this beautiful PRS for uh, my friend Cameron of the band Eugene Levy. Uh, so the first thing that Evertoon wants me to do here is put the drill bits in the hole, the rear holes, and I have to use uh, Fender F top two or template F top two. The first thing I want to do is I want to put my router together. So this is just a something that you guys could buy. This is just a Harbor Freight uh, quarter inch trim router. It's smaller and easier to manipulate than my uh, my big router. So what I'm doing here is I have two different bits and uh, so this one is a little over three quarters deep and this one is right around a quarter deep. So I'm going to do it with this one first and then go deeper to do the rest of the route. The route has to be one inch in total and I, I don't like taking off big amounts at a time like this. It, it does it for a horrible cut and you just can't follow your... Uh, template. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get this in here. And if you ever needed to know, the uh, wrenches that come with paint guns work pretty good for the uh, lower nut on the bearing router. This one's being stubborn to go in. So, just gotta check our barrel here, make sure it's going in the right way, which it is. Stick that in there. Much nicer, see it slides in and out now. Tighten this baby up. Make sure you get these things good and tight. The last thing you want is a router bit walking away from you. So you set it to your depth. Tighten up your fence. This isn't the greatest of fence, but it works. Okay, so now they want me to put some pieces of double stick tape onto this template. Let's see, it goes right there and right there. I'm going to put a piece right in here and I'm going to put another piece down below it. And it don't take much with this stuff. This is literally like double faced duct tape made by 3M. I don't even know where I got it, but it's darn strong stuff. And it might rip up some of my tape when I go ahead and uh, pull up the template. I'm not sure, but that's okay. Because I have all my lines marked, so I can just retrace them with my straight edge. How'd you like the uh, picture of... Uh, lining them up with the laser level. That's the best way that I know of to line these things up and get your perfect straight line down the middle of the fretboard. It works so beautifully. I hope you guys can hear me because my mic's a little farther off, but I wanted it a little farther away today because we're going to be turning on the router and if I can figure out how to do it in my editing, I'm going to add some music from the band of this 
that this guitar belongs to, Cameron from Eugene Levy. Eugene Levy is a Southeast Iowa punk band, and they rock. But, uh, all right, so we got, make sure your template's clean. I always wear an apron when I'm doing stuff like this so it doesn't get all over my shirts. Uh, especially sweatshirts because it's sweatshirt time of year and it likes to stick. Alright, center line, center line. Make sure all of your center lines are perfectly perfect before you do this. Because once it's stuck down, you're not going to move it. Alright, and then you remove the two drill bits. Your template's solid, it's not going anywhere. Another thing you could do instead of double face tape, a lot of guys use uh, super glue and masking tape. So you put a piece of masking tape down, put uh, some super glue across that, put a piece of masking tape across the in the same spot on the template, and uh, put a little uh, super glue accelerator, which uh, no, that's the debonder. I have the accelerator out on my other bench. But uh, spray a little bit of that on there and then put it down and then it just comes up like double stick tape does. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, I learned that tip from uh, my friends at Crimson Guitars. And uh, anyway, so hope this ain't too loud for you, but I'm going to go ahead and start this. I've got a nice open spot here I can get into and just start the route. This is where the nerves get racked for a lot of people, and uh, you know this is this is why it takes a special person to do this kind of stuff, I guess. And I like to do this stuff. This is what I do chose to do for a living. So uh, anyway, here goes. Uh, like I say, I'll try and edit some music in. I don't know if I'll be able to or not, but uh, if I can, I will. So uh, anyway, enjoy, guys. See, we all make mistakes. I have to set this so it's a little bit lower. So it actually hits. Hear that chattering? That's it's a brand new bit, but you know, you know, it happens sometimes. Part of the problem is I have tape on here. In fact, I think I'm going to take that tape off of there. It'll be to my advantage. Because it's catching on the tape. Now I don't have to worry about scratching that part because this is all getting removed. my orange stumac tape on this and it's 
thicker than the rest of it. It's actually meant for putting binding on guitars, which I do quite a bit of actually, because I do restorations here. I love bringing old vintage guitars back to life that have been forgotten about for 50 or 60 years in a basement or whatever. Uh, there's only been one that I haven't been able to bring back. And it kind of saddened me. It was just too far gone. And it would have taken away too much of the originality of it. All right, so the tape's gone. So I'm about halfway there. I'm going to switch bits and uh, do another pass or two, whatever it takes, and I will bring you back when we are done. All right, so here we are about to make the final pass, and it goes something like this. This template is 1 8. This hole is supposed to be 1 inch deep. So I have my uh, depth finder here set an inch and an eighth. And we're, we can actually go about a 16th more. And 
honestly, I don't even think I'm going to take that much. I'm going to leave it where it's at and go from there because I might take a piece of uh, 80 grit to it. I don't know if I can get that much. Try it one more time. There we go, nailed it. Perfect. So, let me uh, grab you here and I'll kind of show you. Sorry about the bumping around. You're on a tripod and I'm trying to move it. But that is a clean installation hole. Look how thick that maple top is. Beautiful. Paul Reed Smith makes great guitars. Sorry again for all the bumping around. Sorry, excuse my shop. My shop's always a mess. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much uh, the end of this video. And uh, I will move on to the next set, and we will go from there. As always, you know, thanks for watching, and be sure and hit that subscribe button. Uh, going to give do a giveaway at 200 subscribers and then every 100 after that I'm going to do some sort of a giveaway. So uh, be sure and hit that subscribe button, give the thumbs up, and uh, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.